How about if I turn the hair dryer off? Wait, why does it look blue? Why? Why does it look blue today? It's never done that before. Okay, just turning up more light is only making me look more blue. <gasps> Which is really odd because I feel like normally it looks kind of orange in here, right? Or like like a not blue is the color. Uh, maybe if I turn the... Oh, ho, ho, there we go. There we go. How about that? Today, I bet you guys already know what we're going to do. Wait, was my last video on this channel an unboxing? Too many, too many unboxings. But! I asked you guys on the community tab of YouTube, uh, well, on my on, on, on my main channel. Well, I'm all over the place today. Um, but I asked you guys to vote on the community tab. I told you guys in the last video that I was gonna do that and it was, it was, it was, it was between Care Bears, uh, Warhol number two Dunnies, uh, well, Warhol collection number two Dunnies, uh, and uh, Yummy World. And, uh, I think last time I checked, 87,000 of you guys voted, which is so amazing. It just makes me smile. It warms my heart that so many of you guys like care and want to participate in fun stuff. Uh, but far and away, Care Bears won, I think with over 40 something percent of the vote. So you guys were definitely really excited for the Care Bears keychains. Uh, so that is what we are gonna open today. And I feel like last time with the Bandcamp Labbits, when I opened those, I was like, whoa, they're like way bigger than I expected. I think that these ones might be tinier than I expected because look at these adorable tiny little boxes. I'm so surprised but this is a carton of 24 of them. Whoa, look at that. There's actually 24 tiny little cubes in here. It is so much smaller than you know like a normal case of blind boxes is pretty big. See that? See the difference there? Um, I'm sure you guys really just wanted to have a box comparison for the first eight minutes of the video. How are we two minutes in already? Eh. Uh, so it looks like there are a lot of different options like usual. Um, we have some that are, it looks like most of them are two out of every 24. We have some one out of 24. We have a mystery out of a mystery number. We don't know. Uh, some three out of every 48. And I am most excited for Grumpy Bear. Look, he looks so sassy. Look at that. It looks so cute. This one looks so cute though. Um, kind of sad that there's not the the little lion one. Wasn't his name Lionheart? I really cannot remember. Wait, does it still look blurry? Blurry now? Does it still look blurry? Wait, am I spitting? I'm such a lady. Uh, so we're gonna start off by unboxing and I'm gonna tell you guys a really boring camera story that nobody wants to hear. You guys, I have been loving this um, Canon G7X, which is what I've been filming with for, I think this year, ever since I thought I was gonna be like a daily vlogger and a weekly, weekly vlogger, um, I went and got a much smaller camera than what I had been filming with, which basically the entire time I've had a YouTube channel, after I switched from filming on my MacBook, my little, um, like, what are they called? Like, almost like webcam type things. Uh, but ever since I got a camera for YouTube, it had always been some derivative, some derivative of the Sony NEX series, like Sony NEX5, Sony NEX5-R. Um, but you guys know it used to overheat all the time when I was filming longer videos. I mean, it was a great camera, but it had some issues and so then I found this one and I really had just intended to use it to film like little vlogs with when I would be taking a camera in my purse or something um but I was enjoying it so much because it was not overheating and stuff when I would want to film for you know 20-40 minutes at a time uh, but it does, it kind of has some focusing issues is the only problem. Ooh, we got the little love bear first. His name is a tender heart bear and we're probably going to see him twice today. He's the little adorable one with a heart on his tummy, a nice brown teddy bear shade. 
so cute his little hands behind his back which almost makes him look a tad bit mischievous if I do say so myself um Anyway, back to the boring camera story. See, it's proving my point right now. Like, I think the focusing is a little strange on this camera. Like, I don't know why, and I feel like, uh, you know, obviously, I, I've kind of had, I think I got it in January, so this is probably like the ninth month I've been having and filming with this camera, and I don't know if I just go through stuff at a faster rate because I use it like kind of all day every day basically filming daily videos so I don't know if I just like go through stuff quicker uh but lately I feel like it's been having some really crazy focus issues like it's almost impossible for me to get a clear thumbnail on this camera I don't know why like literally I'll just press it and it locks on like it's focused but then the thumbnail always turns out blurry and I'm like great now I have no thumbnail for this video bravo bravo um, um, so we just got another duplicate again. I wonder if I should mix this carton up because I almost hate to just get like the same one twice in a row every single time. I don't know if it happens again, I might switch them around because I feel like that's that takes a little bit of the surprise element out uh, when there's going to be some twos and threes out of 24. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know. We'll see if we get the next one and then, and then if there's a duplicate after it. Um, so I don't know. I guess that is like one thing that I'm kind of excited about with the iPhone upgrade. I think I might shoot for the iPhone X, uh, because it is supposed to have like just as advanced of a front camera this time as a back camera. Um, and so I think that is what I'm going to shoot for so that even if I have to start taking like thumbnails on my iPhone or something, like at least hopefully I can have like some good, clear, non-blurry photos. It's just so weird because that's the only way um, that it's messed up. So this is Daydream Bear and he is adorable. You know what I wonder? No, okay, they're not. I was like, I wonder if all of them are going to be in this same pose with their hands behind their back. It's so cute. I know we've been talking a lot about Periwinkle Blue lately, uh, but he pretty much is a Periwinkle Blue shade and I love their faces. And I may not have been keeping up with like Care Bear news. He's only one out of every 24, by the way, so we should not be seeing him again. Um, I, I don't know, maybe you guys have noticed especially maybe you have kids or or nieces nephews grandkids uh somebody that's keeping up with the care bear news but like is this the way they look now or is this a special design just for uh these kid robot keychains because normally i do not like like oh my gosh if you guys have been alive since the 80s and 90s and you saw like the original popples and then you just saw like the new popples that they just re-released the popples like i thought that that was an absolute abomination <laughs> like i'm like why would you take something so cute and so cool um and then like redesign it and make it look ridiculous there i am ripping my eyelashes out i feel like we had a conversation about that a couple weeks ago um <laughs> Uh, but I don't know, like all the time I feel like there's something in my eyes, there's probably really not, and then I just start ripping my eyelashes out. It's fun. It's fun to observe. Uh, fun to do. It's, it's, I'm being facetious. It's not really fun. Probably shouldn't do it. Don't pull out your eyelashes. Uh, this is finally the Grumpy Grump Bear, and I love his sassy little pose. So he looks like he has his hand on his hips, but look at his little eyebrows. It's so cute. I genuinely love this one, and I'm sure they've all had it. Oh, they don't because their hands are behind their backs. But I also love how Grumpy Bear, because his hands are posed that way, you do see the little heart on his butt, the nice little standard Care Bear thing. So if this one is another Grumpy Bear, I think I'm gonna mix it up just so that it's a little bit more spicy uh, because I feel like it is kind of like, oh, and now we know we're gonna open two of the same one in the same order. Um, I think most people probably don't open a case at a time, uh, so they probably like don't run into that issue, but I always like to go big or go home. Uh, and we're gonna mix them up because it is indeedy another 
grumpy bear repeaty so i'm gonna just mix them all up uh we were only supposed to get to oh 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 and by mix them all up i mean throw them all on the floor um that way there's a little bit more excitement uh with what we're doing here i did just throw like two or three boxes on the floor though good 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 uh i was so happy that you guys love the caboodles video that I did, I think that was earlier this week. You guys really do seem to like the nostalgia kinds of videos. So I think that being said, I think I'm finally going to, uh, we're already kind of halfway through September. So I don't know if I'll really be able to start this series in September, but I think I'm gonna start like getting old toys that we all had growing up uh, and then like try them out now or maybe get like the older version and the newer version like a video i've wanted to make forever is like testing out or just seeing like do you know when you had stuff when you were a kid and you were like oh my god like this is the most fun toy like i could literally just play with a creepy crawler machine every day for the rest of my life like i kind of want to get a creepy crawler machine and see is it still as much fun uh as it always was or like would we open a creepy crawler machine now and think it's kind of lame and uh i think that they've come out with two more versions of creepy crawler ovens what was this bear's name sunshine bear funshine bear Aha! uh he is only one out of every 24 so we might only see him once well we're probably definitely only going to see him once um but I think they've had two or three different creepy crawler machines come out since the, and this is crazy. I did not know creepy crawlers were, were like originally, it was like a toy from the late, mid to late sixties. I didn't know that, but I think it was called Thing Maker. And then they revamped it. Um, I almost said when we were kids, like as if we all were born in the same time. Um, but they, like reintroduced it for us but i think they've come out with two different creepy crawler ovens since i had one in the early 90s which is so crazy to me well it's crazy and not crazy i'll tell you guys about that uh so this is perfect panda bear and he is two out of every 24. how about i show you his face instead of his butt see see look at the focusing it's not happening wait oh my god he has some kind of award amazing Good for you, Perfect Panda. Uh, did I say he's one out of every 24? Because I think he's two out of every 24. Um, okay, Creepy Crawler, and then we'll have a fingernail story. Uh, so, so many exciting, riveting stories today. Um, so supposedly, like, I've been looking at and doing some research about finding Creepy Crawler machines and stuff, or just looking at, like, the best-selling toys of the 90s, doing, doing research that I do, very important scientific research going on over here. Um, but supposedly the Creepy Crawler machine of the 90s is one of the most dangerous toys ever made. I don't know why they say it's one of the most dangerous toys. It doesn't seem any more dangerous to me than an Easy Bake Oven. Like, they all heat up, you know? I, I It's so weird. It's, it's, did we get the super duper, super, super, super? Well, I'm just talking a million miles an hour. And you guys, we just got the super secret ultra rare i don't even know how rare this one is I'm so distracted by creepy crawlers i'm like not even paying any attention but you guys i just opened up a pearlized one and i was like whoa wait what is this one so you guys are gonna have to help me out and tell me if you know the name of this actual care bear in the comments but look this is uh how i was telling you guys about the band camp labbits the other day they don't even tell you how rare this one is he's just one one X out of two X's. So he might be one out of like 96, one out of 70 something. I don't know, but look, he is like a pearl, like a pearl color. He's like pearlescent. He is kind of shiny. I don't know if that's gonna read through on camera. And then he has this like rainbow colored star and a little heart on his tummy also. He's really cute. And he is in the sassy 
fancy Care Bear pose. So this is pretty awesome, you guys. I feel like we have been very lucky on this channel. Like the Bite Size Labbits, we got the super, super rare one. Amazing. Um... So, yeah, I don't know why, what particularly made the Creepy Crawler Machine one of the most dangerous toys of all time, because it worked off of a little lamp. It wasn't like an actual oven. Um, so basically, in my mind, it's kind of the same technology as the Easy Bake Oven is today, which uh, I just tried that out, like, maybe two years ago now for Does This Thing Really Work? And I mean, you can still potentially, like, kind of burn yourself if you don't follow the instructions and like try and grab the tray too quickly and stuff which you know me and my friends um I had two friends over and we were like all making the easy bake stuff together so it's it's probably like I don't know how an easy bake oven is any less hot but I don't know maybe they did the lamps differently but it's kind of like anything is dangerous if you don't follow the instructions do you know what I mean uh so we have Share Bear and he is two out of every 24 and this is one of the most I I'm definitely gonna give this one to my mom because she loves purple and she loves teddy bears and this one is the first one we've seen that's in like a sitting pose and and uh, it makes the expression even cuter. He just looks so excited. And once again, this one does have the little heart on his butt. So, so cute. Um, alrighty. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, fingernail story. I have got to, I don't know. I might just resort to, I might cut these ones off. It's always the ones on the end of my hand that grow out the quickest. And then I'm always opening things with these nails. And so they're always breaking. But I don't know. I'm so sad. I wanted to go get gel nails again. But unfortunately, our salon that we normally go to to get like our nails shaped and painted and all of that, um, unfortunately, it got like really wiped out by Hurricane Harvey. So I don't know when they are going to open again. Um, hopefully soon. Uh, wait, did we get this one? No, uh, this is just award bear. I felt like the other one. Oh, it was like a star award. Um, so this is champ bear. That's really cute. He's only one out of every 24 and he's a slightly different blue color. He's a little bit more of kind of a sky blue, I guess you could say. Um, you know what? No, and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see on camera or not. Maybe you will, but Grumpy Bear over here is just a tiny bit darker um, than Champ Bear, who is like a slightly different, lighter blue shade. Oh my gosh, wait, we've gotten so many blue bears, but this one is definitely like a periwinkle blue. I feel like you can really tell the difference. That's almost like a lavender shade. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, no, so... um. I don't know. I'm just like, I, I feel sad about it because kind of like everything that I go out and about and just do like random errands or something. Like, I feel like I become like, <laughs> I know this is going to sound like, this is going to sound like a crazy thing. Um, but I genuinely enjoy like making friends with like people that I see over and over again. You know, like my baristas at Starbucks or like um, the place I go to like get my nails done. Like I feel like the people who work there are just like so nice and friendly and they do such a good job and it just makes me feel sad because I'm just thinking like, I hope that they are okay because they've just kind of been displaced like from their jobs right now and I don't know it's just stuff like that that I start to think about and then it just gets me down and I'm like I hope everybody's doing okay and I feel like there's people that I would like to see that like I'm just like I hope I get to see them again like I don't know if they're gonna have to move to another salon or like I don't know what's going on, uh, but we have Hopeful Heart Bear. Look, that's like perfect to open right now. Um, and look at how cute. This is like if Candy Johnson was a Care Bear. I feel like she would be this one. It's like uh, cotton candy pink with a super cheerful heart radiating um, love. And so that one's so cute. It's like Pinky Pink Bear. That's what I would call that one. I would be like the worst character namer in the world. Pinky Pink Bear. Light Blue Bear. Um, 
Have I already run out of entertaining stories to tell you guys like while I'm opening these? I was like, what else was I gonna talk about? <laughs> Nothing, I don't know. Um, Who are we gonna get next? Wait, did I not mix them up good enough? Oh no, it's another pink bear, but it's slightly different. I think that this is Cheer Bear, yeah. I must have really loved this one to like remember the name. Um, Cheer Bear, two out of every 24, once again. An adorable bear in a little sitting position. So cute, so cute. Uh, and that is our first 12, you guys. We are already half away done. And uh, oh my gosh. So there's like, now that I'm thinking about all this nostalgic stuff, um, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, I'm sure you've seen it already because I've definitely posted it twice. But at our grocery store, they have a catcher machine right now. Okay, but does everybody call them different things? Like the claw machines? We've always called them catcher machines. I feel like I've told this story before. Um, oh, we got another panda bear. So he is two out of every 24. So we're probably not going to see him again. Um, but they have it stuffed full of fraggles and i've already played it twice but i think that this is like a catcher machine that is impossible to win by like just playing in a normal way because they do have i guess like a buy it now option where you're guaranteed to win and you pay 15 dollars which is insane right like i feel like i could go on ebay and probably easily buy like an actual vintage fraggle for 15 dollars or less you know what now i'm gonna look that up uh but like 15 dollars for a uh, a catcher machine toy just seems insane to me. We got our second cheer bear. So there is our duplicate of that. I think he's only two out of every 24. So we shouldn't see that one again either. Um, but is, isn't that crazy to you guys? Like, I don't know. That kind of just tells me that like maybe it is impossible to win. Because what does the $15 ensure that the claw actually like closes? I don't know. I've played it a couple times because I think it's 50 cents a try or a dollar a try. But now I just like sadly walk by the fraggles every time because I'm like, I know it is futile to try. <laughs> um, we got a different one. It's another blue bear. And this one is Harmony Bear. I feel like some of these characters are new. I don't remember if Harmony Bear is an actual OG Care Bear. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, another kind of like blue purple one though. Isn't that crazy? But I feel like in person you can tell that they are just all slightly differently colored. I hope you guys can tell on camera because it looks aesthetically pleasing to me. It's like those videos where there's all the different tubes of water and somebody puts, um, they like make a rainbow gradient and it's just like, I don't know how they do it, honestly. Um, but it's like just tubes of water and they basically have it like on every spectrum making a rainbow and it'll just be like these little vials of water. Is, is anything I'm saying making any sense right now? Like I feel like trying to describe some stuff is like a really awkward game of charades where people are like tubes of rainbow colored water. Um, but what was I saying? Yes, I feel like somehow people can make these like gradually color changing rainbow liquid pictures what would they even be called uh they're on instagram so i don't know but anyway i'm basically trying to say how aesthetically pleasing it is to see minute color changes in objects that was like a super long-winded unnecessary explanation of that but now we have two candy johnson bears i don't know what they're really called oh my gosh i took a minute to take a sip of water uh and uh, man i left my pumpkin spice lulu in the bedroom um 
But I finally figured out a way to make it not agonizingly hurt my teeth and I totally figured out that that is what was causing my teeth to hurt every day. But I feel like every single year they have been changing the pumpkin spice latte recipes and I think last year was the year that I liked it best because they were using actual pumpkin stuff. It wasn't just like pumpkin flavoring or whatever, but I think one of my uh, barista friends told me it was like the least successful pumpkin spice years ever. So I think they switched it back to be like a more kind of artificial thing, but I feel like it is so much sweeter this year than any other year ever. And I literally get, um, I get a venti made in a Trenta cup so I can get a lot of extra ice and everything. Uh, oh, this is a new one that we just got. Uh, okay, let me show you guys this one, then I'll finish my too sweet pumpkin spice Lulu story. Um, cheer bear, right? That's, no, this is a uh, love a lot bear. This is cheer bear. Look at that, I messed it up. Um, once again, look at these aesthetically pleasing, subtle color differences. Wow. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, way too sweet. Okay, so. I get a venti made in a Trenta cup and they, it, it must come with like six pumps of the pumpkin stuff. Um, and I think I was telling you guys this in the last video, but so like the pumpkin spice stuff is like a syrup. It's like a flavoring. So it's like the flavor and the sweetener, I think in one. And I literally cut it down from probably like just the way they make it. So that's like, at least six pumps, I think, to uh, like three, sometimes three and a half, and it's still like so sweet. It's crazy. I don't know what they did to it this year. This one is adorable. I think he's the birthday bear, and he's one out of every 24. He's really cute, bright sunshine yellow with a little cupcake on his tummy. He looks so happy, ready to go in the world. Um, yay. Oh, I know what else I was gonna tell you guys. Okay, yeah, so if you are gonna get a pumpkin spice latte this season, I recommend like maybe, cause they can always add like more pumps of the flavoring in. So if you're gonna get one, like maybe ask them to like cut down on the pumps of flavoring or whatever that they put in. Cause it is a little intense this year. I don't know who's in charge of these recipes. I just really hope that we get gingerbread latte again this year because it really was not thrilling that we did not get that last year. Um, I don't know whose decision that was. So we got the good luck bear and we might see him a lot, you guys, cause he's, well, you know what? He's three out of every 48. So we might see him one more time or Mm, yeah, probably just one more time since we got the super ultra rare one. I bet that maybe took up one of the three spot. Uh, so supposedly some Starbucks last year got the um, gingerbread latte flavors. I almost said fragrances. That would be amazing if Starbucks came out with coffee fragrances. I just gave them that idea. Uh, that they're never gonna listen to because nobody from Starbucks is watching my channel. Um, but I, I don't know. I heard that some Starbucks stores did get gingerbread latte, but it was like uh, in San Antonio and Austin and stuff like that. And so, but we didn't have it anywhere in the Houston area, which was such a bummer. Um, we got our second love a lot bear. And that one is really, really adorable. Um, so the last big question that I was gonna ask you guys today, uh, since we have only four more bears to go, and once again, I'm probably going to do a poll on the community tab, because I feel like that's the best way to really ask you guys questions these days, is to poll you, because then I get like a very clean cut answer. Like I feel like I've kind of talked about this before, which is why I, I know I bring up that community tab so much, but it has really 
really breathed new life in me. Like having that feature and this channel I feel like has made me so much of a happier person because I no longer wake up every day just feeling like I'm hitting my head against a brick wall, struggling to just talk to you guys in the same way I always did. Um, Cause I know I've been ranting and raving for years how Facebook took away the ability to poll and everything because you know when I ask you guys questions now and I say like hey leave me a comment down below let me know like yes or no or this or that like I will literally just get a ton of answers in like thousands of comments but it's not really like a clear way like I would literally have to keep like a giant white erase board and have dog man like read off like yes no and then like tally it up through like thousands of comments which would just be like an insane process you know but being able to just ask you guys to like vote I can clearly see like oh they want me to do like Care Bears first you know and then it's like not only am I doing content and making stuff that I'm genuinely excited about that I want to do you know like I don't care which one we get to first whether it's like Care Bears a yummy world or whatever like we're gonna do them all by the way an extra special thanks to everybody who requested I do like a crazy mega long unboxing of opening all three of them in one video uh maybe I'll touch on that in a minute um, but you know, it's just, it's just more fun to be able to like communicate with you guys. And then I don't feel like I'm just like kind of doing my own thing and not really like listening to you guys, if you know what I mean. So I don't know. It just, it's, it's been so, so, so much better. It's taken me 20 minutes to just tell you guys we got another duplicate of Share Bear. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it it just makes me feel so much better and I just feel like I'm actually like once again it's like we do have a sense of community back I feel like that's why I was feeling so sad and so exhausted all the time because I felt like I was being cut off from being able to really hang out with you guys and talk to you guys and like hear what y'all wanted to see and what y'all like and what y'all don't like uh and so it's it's been definitely like a very exasperating past year but I definitely feel like we're getting on a much better path now. I'm very excited and I'm sure it's reading uh, on my content and on my videos and maybe this was my favorite Care Bear because I did love the Shooting Star one and he is Wish Bear and he is one out of every 24 so we're only gonna see him once. Look at him now! Uh, but I love this teal color. I feel like I really liked that color when I was little. But I don't know. I have a hard time remembering yesterday. So, uh, circling back to 12 conversations ago, uh, what I think I'm going to poll you guys about next is forever. I have been asked to make, um, kind of like, I don't know if you would call them like travel guides or like tips and tricks or like just like my advice or like talking about Disney but we are about to go to Disney World and people always ask me like what are your favorite places to eat what are your favorite things to do what are your like recommendations for this and that um because we are annual pass holders and so I have quite a bit of the inside scoop and thoughts and opinions on Disney stuff and so I guess like I'm kind of trying to think about how you guys would like to watch that best like should I make one of the videos on my main channel should I make the videos here on my second channel um I guess maybe this would have more than one choice because I don't know if I should split it up and be like my favorite places to eat, my favorite this, my favorite that, or if I should kind of try and lump it all into one longer video. So I've got to think about how to write up the poll questions so that I can really ask you guys uh, what y'all would like to see better. So this is bedtime bear or is he sleepy time bear? bedtime bear and he's two out of every 24 so he might be our last one again as well I think we have gotten 
all of them. So our last one is probably only gonna be a repeat of some kind and it's just gonna be what repeat is it gonna be uh yeah so we have gotten absolutely everybody so that's pretty cool because at this point we do have a complete set we've seen them all today and I always love it when that happens so you guys get to see like all of them even like the chaser one I think that's what they're technically called is not like ultra rare that's definitely like a Shopkins term um but I think that these are called chasers uh because you have to literally open up normally a ton of boxes <laughs> like we had to open up 24 today to get it um oh we got another bedtime bear so he is the last one we saw so we just saw him um two times in a row but he is really 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 cute and now I knew it was gonna happen I'm gonna have a brain fart. Oh yeah, no, so that's what I wanted to say. Um, I guess that's why I'm torn about if I should do like one long Disney video where, uh, you know, cause people always say they wanna like write my recommendations down or whatever for their vacation planning. Um, and so I don't know though if I should really make one long video cause you guys are so sweet and I feel like definitely um, banana peppers, you guys who are like super involved, uh, we're like, we're like super, Swamp family friends over here. I feel like you guys gen genuinely and generally do enjoy super long content. Like I always say that's like nine tenths of the comments that I see on this channel is that you guys like to put these on in the background when you're like cooking or cleaning, doing chores, um, you know, like working on some kind of project or something like that. And so you're like me where you're kind of like looking for longer content. Like I always love um, when videos are longer. Um, um, so that I can kind of just turn them on and like wash my hair, like whatever I need to do, uh, which takes me shockingly 40 minutes. I feel like everything in my life just takes me a really long time to do. And I'm like, wait, are other people in the world like this? Or am I just like so slow that I just am so abnormal? I just, everything from like makeup to hair, to picking up lunch. It's just like nothing in my life takes me less than an hour. I don't know how people are like so accomplished <laughs> like with their days. Um, but I, I don't know, like I'm always torn about creating super long content because once again, that's like I was saying, like I was doing the weekly vlogs, but far and away, at least on the main channel, I was getting a lot of, um, I don't know if you would say like negative feedback, but it was just like a lot of critiques being like, people don't have time to watch an hour long video. Like, uh, these need to be shorter, like all kinds of comments like that. It was very rare on my main channel that I got a lot of comments that were like, yeah, I wish these videos were longer. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not like discrediting everybody. Like there certainly were people and probably a substantial amount of people that were saying like, yeah, we like that these videos are longer, all kinds of stuff like that. So I don't know, that's why I'm hesitant to like do super long, long, long videos uh, because I feel like probably on a majority of people they're, they're not down for that. Um, and so I don't know. And then it's just kind of like, oh, like I, I feel like it's kind of always like a balancing act, but I'm really trying to not let that influence me so much and just kind of like going with the flow and like organically whatever type of video I feel like making in the moment because I definitely do feel like it makes uh me feel better and so that I'm able to create better content uh for you guys to watch than when I am allowing myself to get bogged down by like uh, kind of all the miscellaneous like do this don't do that do that don't do this kind of stuff and I'm just kind of really getting back to the point where I'm just like accepting and I'm like okay everything isn't for everybody and I'm gonna do what I love and I'm gonna do what interests me and hopefully you know but at the same time like taking you guys' feedback into consideration and like with stuff like polls and stuff like that um and so it's just really I don't know this past year has been crazy it's definitely been about like finding like a balance for everybody but also just getting back into stuff that I am genuinely passionate about that uh that I want to do you know instead of like forcing myself to do kind of like this crazy like clickbait stuff um or trying to just like really hone in on trends I, I feel I've never been a trendy person uh so I feel like definitely that kind of stuff is just soul killing to me um so I'm definitely just kind of like nah whatever like it 
if it gets the views, it gets the views. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, but either way, like I want to make content that I love, um, that hopefully you guys will also enjoy and then we'll all go home happy. Uh, but thank you guys so, so much for hanging out and I'm sorry it got, uh, actually I'm not sorry. I'm glad that I just like did that little talky talk, um, even though it made the video even longer because we also did an unboxing. So today's video was like kind of all of the things. So, uh, keep your eyes peeled about that poll. I don't know if I'm going to put it up today. I might, might be tomorrow. Uh, but just keep your eyes peeled for that community tab. I'm hoping soon I'm going to be able to link you guys directly to the community tab because I have seen a lot of feedback about that as well, where people want to participate, but they're kind of having a hard time finding the community tab um, and I think right now with all the layout changes on YouTube it is a little bit more tricky to navigate there for the time being but once again like I do keep saying I do think if you sign up for the notifications for my channel if you hit that little bell or whatever uh, I think it also notifies you when we make posts to the community tab uh, so yeah if you want to if you want to participate in that and kind of let me know your thoughts and opinions, I would be grateful. I love you guys so much. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery, and I will maybe see you guys tomorrow. I love y'all. Bye.